Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cinemachine. This is a special edition of Cinemachine. As you can tell, we have a couple extra people on camera. We have Katie. Wave hello, Katie. And we have Melissa. We're not allowed to talk? Not yet. Oh. Um, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. We'll get there. This is a special edition because we're going to play a game to see how well both married couples know one another and their movie ventures in life. So... We have Ryan and Katie. Now you can say hello. Howdy. Hello. There we go. <laughs> See? And we have Brandon and Melissa. Now you can say hello. Hi. Bonjourno. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, didn't mess this one up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still got time. So today we're going to... It's basically like the newlywed game, but it's all about movies. So this is Cinema Machine Spin. So the way this is going to go is we're going to work on the honor system. One spouse is going to leave the room while I ask the spouse that is in front of the camera a question. The other spouse joins us after the round of questions and tries to see if their answers match. Now, what are we playing for? Interesting, you ask. We are playing for a movie of each couple's choice. So, Brandon and Melissa, what is your movie of choice if you win? <laughs> Actually, Our Melissa, choice. could you tell us? <laughs> Trolls World Tour. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, our choice is the devil all the time. I speak for both of us when I say Sounds that like our a choice is. more family ridden We're gonna film. win. There we go. <laughs> Uh, and if Ryan and Katie win, uh, what will we be watching? Knives out. Knives out. Okay. Now here is the kicker. If there is a tie at the end of the show, I get to pick a movie. I have three movies currently selected and being that we have special guest, if there is a tie, the ladies get to pick a number out of those three numbers. And that is the movie that we will be watching. So, Brandon and Ryan are begging that that does not happen, so they have told me that they will fix the game if it <laughs> ends up going that route. <laughs> because Sacrifices they must be made. <laughs> they know some of the movies that are on that list, they think. So, are you guys ready to get started? That's right. Yeah. All right. So, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to leave the room to where you cannot hear your wife's voice. Sweet. Uh, take your phones with you. Uh, so we can text you to come back in the room. So I guess you can text me. Honey. Um. All right. Let's do it. All right. Cinema Machine. The way it should have always been. How's it going, ladies? <laughs> 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 Woo! Fabulous. Well, this is the only show where Al's opinions really matter. All right. So. Uh, all right. So I have three questions for you and you can answer. You can take as long as you need to answer. Just answer honestly. And I will keep track of your answers. Okay? Got it. All right. So, Melissa, I'm going to start with you. Okay. What was your favorite movie to watch when you were a kid? Define kid. <laughs> That's um, a good question. <laughs> anytime before you uh, moved out of your parents' house. I would say ever after. Ever after. Ever okay. after. Okay. That's the, uh, is that Drew Barrymore? Is that what that is? Drew, oh, yes. Oh, excuse, excuse me. Okay. Oh, yes. With all right. Yes. <laughs> I think I remember that cover. Uh, all right. And um, Katie, what, what, was your, what was your answer for that one? Rogers and Hammerstein's slash Brandy Cinderella. Oh. That is the longest title. I, it's Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella, but it's the movie one starring Brandy and Whitney Houston. With oh, Brandy the singer. Yes. Okay, I forgot there was a a big thing in the '90s where everybody just went by one name. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was the thing. Okay. So, see, these questions are pretty easy. I, I like to keep yeah. them simple. Uh, what genre of movies do you prefer? Do you prefer? documentaries do you prefer crime do you you know whatever so i'll start with you katie um take your time it varies by the day 
Okay. I can tell you I don't like dramas because I don't like to deal with other people's drama. I got my own. <laughs> okay. All right. So, but I think most commonly I do like a good action movie. Like action movie. Yeah. Action thriller. Tenant was like right up my alley. Okay. All right. Yeah. We were the only two that understood it that yeah. went to go see it. So <laughs> it's because we're um, smarter. <laughs> Brandon's still taking Tylenol. Um, <laughs> Melissa, is, is Brandon sleeping now? Because he said he was having a hard time sleeping after Tenet. Yeah, no, not really. No. I mean, yeah. you know, kind of in and out. So I'm still still recovering. Yeah. He said he had Henry Cavill dreams last night. So. Oh, boy. He did. He did. Yes. <laughs> yes. That is true. Which, you know. Sorry, Melissa. It's a change from the Affleck dream. So it's true. <laughs> oh, boy. There's so much to divulge there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, what is your answer? What? genre of movie do you prefer i mean i'm gonna have to go with katie it really depends on the mood um i definitely don't like sci-fi oh, I, so oh we're yeah gonna throw right. that out there right. um except right, you know what? negative on sci-fi we're gonna give them at half a point if they can choose which one you don't like as well so you said <laughs> okay, drama nice. katie uh Ryan hang might on. Get it. all right and <laughs> melissa says uh, not sci-fi. Not sci-fi. And what is your favorite um, though? I know you like documentaries. I, I love documentaries, but I don't know. That just doesn't really feel like a. This is genre. Like a movie, yeah. like that I'm going to like a movie theater to watch. Sure. Um, I like. I mean, I really like comedies, and I like suspenseful. So thrillers, movies. suspenseful thrillers, or just suspenseful. Suspenseful. I mean, I don't really like. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a hard. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've given the harder questions to the fellas. I promise, ladies. Okay. I took it I took it easy on you. <laughs> Good. Um, I mean, I like comedies. Okay, we'll say we'll go with that. We'll go comedy. Okay, we'll go comedy. Okay, all right. A romantic comedies. Rom-com, you want to do so. rom- You want to do that specifically? Yeah. Okay, romantic comedies. I don't know. All right, so what? This is the final question of this round. What movie character do you wish you could be? Any movie character of all time, and you can take your time. <laughs> don't worry. They're texting each other about question. Batman versus Superman right now. <laughs> because so many books, where I would love to be a character from the book, have been made into movies. Okay, Jenny Weasley. But I didn't like Jenny Weasley in the movie. Mm-hmm. So we'll make it another one. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's let Melissa answer first while you think about it. How about that? Oh, I want some think time. <laughs> you want some think time? <laughs> I need think time. We'll have some think time music going right now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Just you can talk out loud through through your answer. Doesn't yeah. matter. Well, but my mind's going all over the place. It's very a very broad. I, I mean, narrow it down for me a little bit. So, when you were a kid, you said you liked the movie Ever After. Did you like all the princess mm-hmm. movies from Disney? Uh, did you like? Uh, were were mean, there other movies that you loved um, that you were like, man, the outcome of that? particular character i really liked do you the free solo documentary <laughs> okay that's, that's like the climbing <laughs> that's the climbing one right yeah that's me her i want to be just adventurous like that so you want to be a no that don't really count you no, that's a, not my but house hang on you want to be Brandon's a, never gonna get that <laughs> but you want to so. be adventurous i know melissa i know you like to run so could you have possibly <gasps> wanted to be forrest gump <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Although that was one of Brandon's favorite movies, no, so that, that speaks volumes. Um, Ryan is yeah. never gonna get this, but I have my answer. Okay. If I Go. had to pick one where it's like that chick is classy and awesome, and there's a little bit of a book movie crossover here, but I would want to be Astrid Lung from Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> Astrid, Astrid Long. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, is that? Yeah. All right. Played by Jibba Chan. I don't know how to say that. Or Jibba Chan? 
Gemma Chan. Gemma she, Chan. She was also in Captain Marvel, and she's been in some other things, but she's just the classiest lady I can okay. think of where I was like, you go, girl, at the end of the movie. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Uh, Melissa, uh, you like to be adventurous, so... But I'm not, like, extremely adventurous. Yeah. So... There's that. But, okay, so let's go through some things. You're a mom. Okay. You're you're yeah. a, a public educator, so to speak. I mean, you you work within the school mm-hmm. system and things of that nature. So something in your movie upbringing sparked something. In I something. love you know my um my theme of the night is Trolls World Tour. I love Poppy's character, her positivity. Like she's just super positive and super happy. And I feel like... So you want to be Poppy from Trolls too? I want to be Poppy. Yeah. I'm going to go with Poppy because she's a very upbeat, positive, always looking on the bright side (laughs) of everything. I think that's a really good pick. I'm going to text the guys and tell them... uh, they can come back in. I know we got to ruin the show like that, but you know. So thank you so much. Uh, now here's the thing: when they come back, we're gonna see. So you guys can be as nice or as unpleasant as you want when they get something wrong. It doesn't matter. That's oh, we get to stay here. Oh yeah. Oh, I thought we were gonna have to leave. That's so much better. <laughs> okay. They get to go up against your answers. So. Um, if Brandon gets your last answer, <laughs> Melissa, he was listening. <laughs> if Ryan gets my last answer, test. he was definitely listening. Yeah. So, uh, all right, gentlemen. All right. Ryan, you, you, you excited to see where you stand on this? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, <clears throat> I'll ask the question and you answer however you believe your wife answered. You can take as much time as you need. Okay. So first question was, what was your favorite movie to watch when you were a kid? Brandon, what was Melissa's favorite movie to watch when she was a kid? (laughs) (laughs) As much time as we need, huh? (laughs) Well, remember you're, (laughs) Your wife's on a time schedule, so uh, (laughs) which one's going to get you in trouble more? That's all I'm saying. When she was a kid. Yep. And we defined kid as any time before you moved out of your parents' house. Okay. I'm going to say ever after. Oh, my gosh. Brandon got that right. How did you get that? Oh, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's one point for Brandon. So, um, all right. So, Ryan, love the panic on his face right now. It's fantastic. It's sheer, for sure. <laughs> so, Brandon is on, Brandon and Melissa are on the board with one point. That's probably the only one I'll get ever after was like. I don't know. I was like, she's going to say ever after for something. I know. Cause <laughs> I don't know. One of her favorite I gave movies, them, you got so. it on the first one. Cause I gave them some easier questions because <laughs> I know that, you know, they're not watching movies like we do all the time. All right. Am I answering? So wait, wait. yes. Yes. What is the, uh, what, is what was the your favorite movie for as being a kid? Up, yeah. Anytime before you moved out of your parents' house. So nowadays that could be forty year old adult. We don't know. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> jeez. Um, are you gonna play some Jeopardy music over this? Yeah, we're gonna play. We have some thinking music for sure going. Uh, probably can't get the rights to the Jeopardy music, but uh, All right, everybody I'm at gonna, home sing along. If it's before I moved out of my house. No, what no I, it's it's Katie's. It's, what was right, Katie's? It's my favorite movie. What was Katie, not Katie's you. favorite movie. Oh, right, movie. right. Sorry. Um, Do you have to think all over again? My no, favorite I got, movie I, was... I, I, I actually am pretty confident about it now. Okay. Princess Bride. Incorrect. Oh. <laughs> Incorrect. What is it? <laughs> Do you want to tell him? 
Rogers and Hammerstein Cinderella. Oh, yeah. Oops, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, I was trying to forget that you liked that. Uh. <laughs> so, um, all right. Are you We're ready off to for a great start? Yeah. <laughs> Random Mozart. One nothing. So, are you ready for a question two? Ryan, I'm going to ask you first. Now, there is a way to get bonus points on this. So, I'll ask the regular question and then I'll ask the bonus question for half a point. Okay. For one, for one point, what is your wife's favorite genre of movies? Which genre does she prefer? House of the Um I feel like I really screwed you over with this. <laughs> Just in general. I'm not sure you should have Great. let me do this. Um, I'm hoping for the tie. <laughs> if I, I mean, if I had to guess a genre, I'd have to say rom-com. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for leaving me hanging there. I appreciate that. You should see Can it I from guess? my face. Can you guess Katie's? Can, yeah, guess go ahead. Katie's. Wait, what? Musical? No. no. She said that sassy too. No. There'll be a lot of that. <laughs> nah. Yeah. So we're gonna let Brandon answer the one pointer, and then we'll give you both. Are you gonna give? I'm gonna give you both half. Gonna give him the answer. Oh, uh, oh, she said action movie. If I had to pick, like, my go-to, like, consistently, I like these movies. Okay. Action. Action movies. Wouldn't have guessed it. No chance. <laughs> you didn't? Uh, my second one, my second one would have been Disney. Like. That's not even. I mean, Disney, movie. Disney. That's not a genre, Is that a genre? Right? <laughs> Is that a studio? <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, the classic animated <laughs> Disney movies. Anime. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Which Brandon. actually falls into Brandon's, too, a little bit, because I will sing some Disney in the car. Those are musical That's all you sing in the car. <laughs> My turn. I was gonna let them fight that out for a minute. My, yeah, yeah, go ahead. My my turn. Fire away, Brandon. I I'm also gonna say rom com. You would be correct. <laughs> you would be correct. So, so action <laughs> movies. Boom. Maybe I overthought it. I don't know. So here's the bonus. For half a point, for half a point, what is your wife's least favorite genre of movie, Ryan? Uh, Sorry, go ahead. Horror. It's not. Nope. <laughs> this is unreal. <laughs> you, you literally will not watch a horror movie. <laughs> Katie is turned them all wrong. She doesn't know herself, apparently. <laughs> as soon as awareness. As soon as you sat down and Al said you get like there's a bonus point option i immediately went oh no i was gonna laugh if he what said drama you say? drama said drama <laughs> you like drama movies <laughs> <laughs> i'm so sorry i don't like them i don't like i don't like they gotta have something else going on there can be she said parts of an she, action movie but a drama i'm not just gonna sit down she and doesn't watch. like other people's drama yeah that was her moment. No, she doesn't like awkward comedy is what she's trying to say. So she doesn't like Brandon. So, <laughs> so. I'll do better next time. I will. Well, I hope so. <laughs> All right, that Brandon. You're up two me. to nothing. <laughs> Here's another shot to get um, a half a point. Um, what is your wife's? I'm going to say this. I don't believe it's true, but sci-fi. That is correct. Because <laughs> that is the joke within your family. It uh, is true. No sci-fi. So you're uh, not I don't like sci-fi. No, I'm not good at this. It turns out I'm really bad. All right. So one more question before Ryan has to go to therapy. Um <laughs> 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 She's got it on speed dial. Got She's one. got the last number. <laughs> um, all right. If either one of you get this, I'm just going to fly through the roof and know that you're you're just listening in. All right. Brandon, what movie character does Melissa wish she could be of all time? What movie character? Of Melissa. all time. Wish she could be. <laughs> um, 
Cinderella. No. <laughs> she would like to be Poppy from Trolls 2. <laughs> she's so positive. <laughs> right. <laughs> and real upbeat. I'll call That's, the bright side of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good to know. There you go. <clears throat> Ryan. I'm so sorry. Got your shovel ready. The hole's That's not the, deep enough. The confidence she's the lack of confidence she's building here. I'm so sorry. You're never gonna get this. <laughs> she did. She did kind of stack the cards against you, man. I'm gonna think more next on the next time that I'm answering the questions. I'm gonna put a lot more emphasis on what is Ryan gonna say. It well, is. let's Not put it this way: the game is supposed I to be. I know that, and now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> there's still six there's still seven points ryan that you can get so brandon's only brandon and melissa are only up two and a half to nothing so still got a whole game to go all right but remember the next round your wives have to know you yeah um <laughs> we'll be right back we'll after these most <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think of some obscure movie character that she likes now. <laughs> What's um, another character from Trolls 2? Scarlet Witch. Oh, that's not a bad one. But no, that's not it. Yeah, that's not it. Would you like to tell him what uh, c- conundrum you came up with for him? Astrid Lung from Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's super rich and she's super smart. Next she's round. Super classy, and I would love to be her. And she's played by Gemma Chan. And she's played by Gemma Chan, who's beautiful. Mm, of course. <laughs> Never seen her before, but I take your word. Ladies, thank you for answering so well. So uh, if you'll take your phones, uh, we'll have your husbands text you when you can come back in. So uh, try not to uh, take a nap or anything. We'll try to. I'm pretty sure they'll have their answers pretty quickly. <laughs> so thank you so much for a good first round. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. There's um headphones on the bar. Alright. This is the comeback. Music, so you can't hear. There's headphones in the bar so you can listen in. <laughs> if you had gotten that last answer, I knew the that you were listening. <laughs> I was like, there's no way he's getting poppy from trolls too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I promise I wasn't. I know you weren't. I know. I had my music on. I uh, I trust you both. Um, all right. I was texting Ryan. I sure. I said they are texting about Batman versus Superman right now or Justice <laughs> League. <laughs> um, well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> not too far off. And then they started talking about the Affleck and uh, Henry Cavill dreams Brandon's been having. That's what <laughs> they started talking about. So, um, they don't know the half of it. I'm terrified. Uh, <laughs> we all are, even I am. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to um, ask three questions here. And same thing, your wives come back in, see if they can answer the same way you did, okay? All right. So, the movie you wish your spouse would never watch or talk about again. Ryan. Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> 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 I, i'll be honest with you i probably would have gone there if you didn't just joke about it so i appreciate the heads up yeah no problem. <laughs> you could probably she, go there she really likes that movie huh she really likes that movie well i've you're seen trying it to get... an unhealthy amount of times okay <clears throat> um, once is unhealthy enough so, so say it again sorry the movie you wish your spouse would never watch or talk about again. <laughs> you can you can say Crazy Rich Asians. Remember, you're not trying to stump her. Yeah. I know. <laughs> she was trying to stump uh, you, apparently. But <laughs> uh, she really wants to see that review, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Crazy Rich Asians. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to say ever after because <laughs> okay. it's not good. There's themes that are repeating here. Tonight. Oh, she started glowing when she started talking about it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to say it. I know. <laughs> All right. Brandon, what movie character do you think your spouse is most like? Hmm. 
this could make you a hero in your house or a villain. Mm. It doesn't matter. It depends on how you answer this. Goodness. Let's see. This is a pretty broad question. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm really um, shooting for that tiebreaker. I'm going to need some softballs here. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a. I got one that's specifically about you. Next. Hmm. I tell you what, we well, can, we can change this question. What well, character? You already asked it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it's okay. You can change it. Game. So answer it. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Um, I'm gonna say Wonder Woman. Okay. Final answer. I didn't say which one do you wish she was most like. Um, Wonder Woman, Final Answer. <laughs> Ryan. <coughs> um, movie Wonder character. Woman, Final Answer. Same same answer? Okay. You bet. <laughs> I put Woman Virtual Woman. That's right. Wonder Woman. <laughs> They're both going to get it wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Whitney Houston and The Bodyguard. Um, all right. This is about you. What movie prop would you most like to own the original of? Money doesn't matter. You own the original, not huh. an Etsy special or anything like that. Who are you asking first? Well, by the puzzlement on your face, uh, I'm going to ask where I am first because I asked you first last time. So. This is for this is me and Brandon, right? Yeah. Like, like, what do you personally? What's your personal? Oh man. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say um. <laughs> just because there's a chance she could get it. <laughs> yeah. Luke's episode six saber, like the original one. Yeah, these questions are like. It, there's a double meaning to them. It's like, what would I really want? Well, that's how the newlywed game is. She's going to say, "Yeah, it's okay. It's right in line with the game." All right, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say the Sting Sword from Lord of the Rings. Sting Sword. Yes. All right. If you would please mm-hmm. text your wives and have them come back into the room. Um, Do we have to? <laughs> I'll let her see that on the episode. I won't tell her that. So. <laughs> um, well, how do you feel about this round? Do you, do you feel, Not good. No? Not good either. <laughs> Getting closer to that tie. What's it? So it's, it's two and a half to nothing? Yeah. It right. is two and a half to Zilcho. I hope she doesn't have do not disturb on right now. <laughs> oh, nope. That's that sounds like a default. And uh <laughs> What? Are you ready? Yeah. I, I just said that? I hope you don't have do not disturb on your phone so my text didn't come through. <clears throat> Welcome back ladies. Thanks. All right, so two of these questions have to do with you. So, I'll tell you exactly how to answer these questions and uh, we'll go from there because it's a little bit different. So, Katie, we're going to start with you to make sure Ryan at least gets a point, okay? Okay. The question is, the movie you wish your spouse would never watch or talk about again, meaning Ryan (laughs) said this about you. So, what movie does he wish you would never watch or talk about again? Wait. Is it Crazy Rich Asians? That is correct. Bam. He got a point. He is on the board. board, (laughs) But I love that movie. I know, Katie. I know. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So, Melissa, same question. What movie uh, do you wish your spouse would never watch or talk about again? Meaning, Brandon... I doesn't want you to ever sure. watch or talk about again. Never wants to hear anything, any mention of this movie ever again. Well, I feel like I'm not obsessive about any movie. Right. And I, if I became obsessive about a movie, he would like that. 
Um, I feel so like, you know Brandon, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like Batman versus Superman has been the obsession for how long? And they're still talking about it. I mean, I feel like I would be more relatable to him <laughs> if I could be- become obsessed with some. You sound media. like you're talking to a therapist right now about. Brandon. She is. That's a actually therapist. exactly what it looks That's like. That's what I was told this was. <laughs> she, I feel like if I could just. How does feel, that make you feel? <laughs> I feel like I don't talk about a movie. I'm trying to think of a movie that I'm obsessed with that ever after. I don't know. That, no, is, I mean, that is that's correct. Th- Ever After is correct. <laughs> Good Lord. I mean, <laughs> Your acting is on par. Um, all right. So, <laughs> uh, Melissa, this, we're going to stick really with... This makes this a lot easier when she's got one movie in her filmography. That's, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. So far, yeah. it's the same answer for she, Have you seen my movie collection? <laughs> Mine was confiscated when we moved in together because it was all DVDs. And he was like, yeah, these aren't allowed oh, here. Oh, 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 oh. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. They're all four, three. And <laughs> we would get along just fine. That's all right. Not, so, not what um, Melissa, what movie character yes. does Brandon think you are most like? you can talk it out loud you can talk through it like physical resemblance i didn't i didn't ask anything like that i just said which one do they think you're most like that's all i said broad picture here I mean, he probably definitely chose a Kiera Knightley character because he is in love with her characters. So obviously, had to be. I have Can no idea. <laughs> pride, pride and Prejudice. <laughs> I just know. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like. I tell you what, if you don't know the name of the character that you're thinking of, you can say that person. There's, I mean, in that I movie. feel like a man, there's an Amanda. What's Amanda's? Bynes. Amanda. <laughs> yes, Amanda Bynes. <laughs> that you've always said that <laughs> we resemble. Nope. Like, That's not a good thing. We're learning so much right now. I know. <laughs> this is great. Not I don't, Amanda Bynes, but. Amanda Seafried? <laughs> You're naming actors or actors. That's okay. Or they, just... all, everybody's an actor now. <laughs> actors. Okay. So, who am I most like? Who do you think I'm most yep. like? That's the question. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, can I pass? <laughs> no. <laughs> or, can, like, can, can, I, say... can I phone a friend? <clears throat> like, wh- what are my lifelines? This is not that show. <laughs> um, oh. <laughs> everybody's asleep. Uh, I don't know. you can you can you can guess out loud if you want to. I mean, you can skip, but that gives you no points. That's what she's been doing. <laughs> That's what I've been doing the entire time. And and you can say the actresses uh, or actor's name, whichever. Uh, and that movie that you think they're in, if you don't know their character's name, that's fine too. <laughs> I have one off the top of my head. Like, I know what popped into my mind first. But it's more the actress than the character. That's okay. Do you want to let... I'm just going to guess. Do you want to let Katie answer first, Melissa? Okay, yes, go for go it, Katie. Ahead. My guess is Harley Quinn. Harley <laughs> is Harley Quinn. Well... <laughs> Um, <laughs> what does that say about you? <laughs> well, Nothing good. That's what I'm saying. It's the res- <laughs> there's a peek behind the curtain there, wizard. All right. Um, let's let's jump to the good guy side of things. Uh, that's your is, that's well, your well, answer. Uh, that's not that's not correct. Uh, well, that's probably good. <laughs> Ryan's answer was Wonder Woman. Oh, that's really sweet, honey. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's going to be a body language uh, breakdown yeah. of this show. So. <laughs> <laughs> the exact wrong side of that universe. <laughs> I don't look anything like Gal Gadot. You're, you're it's, it wasn't based on. I know, but necessarily. I don't think. I don't think in conversation you have ever compared me to Wonder Woman. Like, I know, understand that that's not exactly. Maybe in private conversation he does. Maybe that's what Maybe. he does. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That's a compliment. <laughs> Tell me, if the mascara <laughs> needs me. <laughs> 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 little call back to <laughs> Ingrid Goes West. Um, all right. So, Melissa, do you have an idea now? God. No, I have no idea. Um, <sighs> you can just say something. Does Whatever comes to your head. I can't even, like, that's, I can't even think of it. You can her. pass if you want to, and that just gives you no points. Yeah, pass is just no point. Just might as well guess. You are already ahead. Just um, FYI. Yeah, you're up. You're welcome to pass. <clears throat> right ahead. Pass. I don't know. Just I guess. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well guess. All right. I'm going to count it. Wonder Woman. Oh, my God. What? I'll say Wonder Woman since you came up with that, too. Maybe y'all were both talking That's about That's the that. answer. She got it right. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. No, it's not. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't believe you though. Serious. I don't think that's a very truthful answer though. <laughs> it's true to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, so three and a half. You're watching Trolls World Tour next week. Apparently. Yes. I'm sorry. Four and a half to one so far. So don't worry. We're still good to go. Okay. All right. Not Gal Gadot. Um <laughs> all right. Good one, Al. The <laughs> final question is about your husband. So, Katie, I'm going to ask you first. Got it. What movie prop would your husband most like to own the original of? No money, doesn't matter, nothing like that. Just what movie prop would they like to own? The original. The original of. Like the one from, from the set. The movie. So I have a couple of different options and I'll land on final answer when I say it. Because okay, I that's start. fine. Because, you can think out loud. Because it could be Luke's original saber. Like Luke's saber mm -hmm. hilt. Okay. It could also be if it could be a suit I would consider that a prop. Let's figure out what Batman suit we're talking about. So it would be Nightmare. <laughs> if it was a Batman suit, it would be Nightmare Batman's. Okay. That costume. Or okay. Superman's black suit. Okay. Um, so those are the three you've narrowed it down to? If, if <clears throat> it was like his most, the things that he would want most. <clears throat> <laughs> this shouldn't be stressful at all, by the way. Like, I, I don't know if you've noticed. We're doing really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you look like uh, Ben Affleck in the way back right now. Your your cheeks have gotten all fucking red. <laughs> you smell um, like him too, probably. We don't know. It's a it's a little warm in this room. It can be a lot. Of the heat's um, alive. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with my original one because I don't know if he would pick a suit and say mm -hmm. Luke's original saber. You are correct. Hey, I crushed it. Yeah. All right. We have a model out in the den, but he would like to have the original. I have a feeling your house looks like a museum nice. of like Warner <laughs> Brothers and Fox Studios. So is it an arm semi armory <clears throat> out there? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we also have Sting and whatever the heck. What's his name? Whatever the sword heck. is. Air, air, That's right. Aragorn. Yeah, we've got that one too. Yeah. It's pretty lifelike. I can't lift it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Tried. <clears throat> All right. 
Feeling All right. better. So, Wait, Melissa, once if it was in defense, what movie prop would Brandon most like to own the original of? You can think out loud, like Katie went through. There, right there, there are so many of these <laughs> items. That's, I feel like narrowing it. Who down. Who has a bigger toy bin, Luna or difficult. Brandon? <laughs> okay, okay. Brandon for sure. You know, and you know, for sure. Um, I feel like right now the current thing is Ben's bat suit. I, what would you but do with that? One? What would you do with that bat suit, Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> he'd make he'd make Melissa wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little beard stuff on. Tell me Gotham needs. Me. I was gonna go with another. Tell me Gotham yes. needs. Me. <laughs> yes. Um, but I'm also going to Lord of the Rings because I feel like the Sting Sword, the original Sting Sword. I'll go with, I'll go with the Sting Sword. You are I'll correct. <laughs> <laughs> I know my husband. <laughs> so, all right. All right. So our next round will be the ladies, but this next round is two points per question. Gets a little harder. So, gentlemen, I'm gonna do this is the this last round. round. This is the final round. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, gentlemen, I'm going to ask you to leave the room, and okay. we'll text you when it's time to come back in. Good luck. I'll think more about you this time, honey. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> that wasn't so hard, was it? That was way easier than trying to think about myself. Okay. Well, I'm sure (laughs) your fellas talk about this stuff on a regular basis. So you guys don't think about movies ad nauseum like we do. So that's true. You guys are adults. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So it works out. Um, Reality. All right. This one. I don't, don't want you to think of, Batman versus Superman. Okay. It's so hard not to because it's all they talk about. I know. <laughs> and, and dream about. Literally, <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, I, 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 I get it. Trust me. Um, <clears throat> all right. If your spouse could watch one movie, only one movie for the rest of their life, that is not Batman versus Superman. Oh. What movie would that be? Movies Just... that are the movies that are out now, not the stupid Snyder okay. cut. <laughs> Good God. That was my next question because I'm pretty sure <laughs> they're never going to find a fault. Having, it would be them. They're never going to find a fault in that movie. They're, okay. they're just not. Yeah. One movie for the rest of his life. So, uh, Katie, I'll ask you first. Um, it might be a Star Wars movie. How mad would he be if I said Attack of the Clones? (laughs) (laughs) Please say it. (laughs) Let's get his reaction. (laughs) Um... But I am gonna. I I probably am gonna go to the Star Wars movie. It might be. Um, I'm gonna say Empire Strikes Back. Empire Strikes Back. All right. Yeah. Melissa, what one movie for the would your would you you know your spouse watch that is not. They can't watch any other movie in the world other than this movie. I, I would go with Lord of the Rings. Which one? The first one. Okay. I don't... <laughs> I assume so. I don't know. We'll just go with okay. the first one. All right. I want you to know that Brandon and Ryan are texting each other. Oh, I know. Right now. <laughs> I know. They they admitted that yes. and they're talking about Batman and Superman. Yeah. 
underwear <laughs> underwear movies is what I call them, and they hate it. Uh, <clears throat> all right. If you doesn't matter if your spouse likes it, doesn't matter anything like that. But if there is one movie on earth that you could pull from existence that it never existed, this movie never existed if you put the call out, what movie would that be? I'm going to put Melissa out there. Can I ask a clarifying question? Sure. What movie would they say never existed or what movie would I prefer never existed? Which movie would you prefer? Would I prefer never Because I know what they would say. They would say something that I like. Okay. Killing of a Sacred Deer. <laughs> you know, good movies. <clears throat> my head immediately when you said that for some reason jumped to Last of the Mohicans, which is my mother's favorite movie. But don't write that down because that's not okay. the answer. Just right. killing of a, of a so, sacred, something. Sacred Deer. Yeah, no, I've never heard of that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So, <laughs> Melissa, which one would you say? I mean, I, it doesn't matter if you, it's just a movie that you cannot stand, that you prefer it not be a movie. Like you have great disdain. I really don't I know. know. That's the, like, movies don't matter to me like this. <laughs> That's why it's going to be hard. Um, I mean... I'm trying to think of a movie that I didn't like that I've watched. And the last movie that I didn't like was The Shining. <laughs> but I don't, I mean, I don't know if I would go that far well, with my, my movies too. you know, <clears throat> uh -huh. um, I'll Not just say that The Shining. <laughs> All right. So Katie. I'm hoping. Mm hmm. That Ryan's just going to remember that this is why he married me. And this oh. is why I've allowed our <laughs> home to be turned into a quasi prop museum. Um, but if I were going to pick mm -hmm. that I could just withdraw it. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare judge me, Al. I would pull Justice League. The yeah. Cut of Justice That's League. what I'm talking about. I Yeah. Did you say the Snyder cut or the original cut? The Whedon. Oh, original the Whedon, Whedon okay. one. I'm 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 all on board for Snyder Cut. I'm in that camp. Okay. If we could just rewind and not have that one exist. I went to the I went to the early showing with them and then I came out. I was like, I did not like that movie. That was not what I was promised. So <laughs> All right. So here's the final question. It's pretty easy, if you ask me. What actor, actor, actress, whatever, would you like to hang out with the most? Jimma Chan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I feel like I say this one. Do you want me to answer first, or Melissa to answer? First? Yeah, Katie. Katie. Um, it's either Jennifer Lawrence or Emma Stone. I'm trying to think of which one he would pick. Hey, y'all got to get some points on the board. I We're know. Down. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm really banking on that, Justin. Five and a answer. half to two right now. <laughs> but you got six points you can gain. Okay. In this round. Um, I'm going to say Jennifer Lawrence. All right. Melissa, like you, like when I say hang out, you know it could be yeah, have a cup of tea or right, you know just be friends or whatever. Um, and I feel like this and, is my and, and, and if you want to change your answer after this, if you want to change your answer after this, it can be alive or dead. It doesn't have to be alive. So just to let you know. I, I, I really don't know. I don't know. I feel like 
10 years ago, I would have said Kate Hudson. She's changed. <clears throat> so, but now, I really don't have Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be your favorite. It can just be somebody that you think, or, like, it's cool. Like, right. maybe get some fashion, whatever. I mean, our, oh, Aubrey, yeah. is it Plaza? I can see you. Yeah. I feel like she'd yeah. be fun. I, I think I would enjoy hanging out That'd with her. So that would be I would like answer. to hang out with her too. She sounds yeah. fun. Um, yeah. All right. I'm texting those knuckleheads. They can come back into the room. Um, <laughs> so how do you think you did on this round? How do you think you're, you're going to do? I should say. <laughs> um, how many points can I earn in this round? Six. Two per question. So this is the <clears throat> yeah. most important round. I have no idea. I've done so badly. I could be the most confident I've ever been about anything and it would not go well. <laughs> I tried my best, in. honey. Ryan's crawling under the table. All right. Dude. That's okay. <laughs> Let's hope this gets better than the last round. Let's really do. Because we are losing. Did you did you approach I, it the yes, way that I did. The game was <laughs> <laughs> what did we miss? Um, <laughs> so much. Alice, you can just go ahead and text me those answers real quick. And <laughs> yeah. Cut this out of the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Um, all right. So every question in this round is worth two points. Just to let you know. What's the score? Uh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. You got two and a half plus three <laughs> is five and a half to two. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not mathematically eliminated. It's okay. We're good. No, you're not. That's what I'm saying. You still got so you're saying there's a chance. That's All right. right. <clears throat> I read you. All right. So here we go. One. I'm so, so nervous. <laughs> To Ryan, the one movie that your spouse thinks that you would watch if you could only watch one movie for the rest of your life, but it cannot be BVS. <laughs> or the Snyder Cut, because it hasn't been I was released actually, yet. Actually it has to have been. It has to have been Brandon released. Both would have had the same answer. We would have to I, I told him, you're never going to find a fault in that movie. That movie could be the biggest <laughs> turd in the world. And you'd be like, no, it's great. It's great. Um, all right. So one movie, the only movie you can watch for the rest of your life, cannot be Batman versus Superman. <laughs> this is what your wife chose that you... Would watch. This is the one movie your wife chose. That Katie, your wife chose. Um, my instinct is to go Star Wars, just because of how we met. <laughs> um, did you meet in a galaxy far, far away? You could say that. <laughs> okay, church camp. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> um, if I'm yeah. good Star Wars reference. If I go, if I'm gonna go Star Wars, I'm gonna say Empire. You would be correct. Nice. You would be correct. <laughs> Got good it. Points. points, points, please. Uh, Brandon, what movie does Melissa think you would watch if you could only watch one movie that is not Batman versus Superman for the rest of your life? Um, <clears throat> my instinct is also either it's either Star okay. Wars or Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna say Fellowship, Lord of the Rings. And which of those movies is that? One, two, or three? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Can we not just say Lord of the Rings? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I wouldn't have let him say Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, one. That is correct. Boom. Good job. Yeah. Six and a half to three. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seven and a half to four. 
So, no, yeah, seven and a half to four. So okay. we gotta get we're better off than we were. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so, three points in the hole. <laughs> okay. Yikes. You gotta get the next two questions. All right. We're gonna do like a double or nothing. We thing, really right? need them to get one wrong. <laughs> That's where we are. Right. And this one might That's do wrong. it. This one might actually put you in. So, Brandon. <laughs> What you saying, Al? Because right. <laughs> this is so out of left field. If you, if, if Melissa could banish any movie from existence, meaning this movie's never made if she banishes it from existence, all movies ever, which movie would it be? Hmm. <laughs> Sound like Mr. Bean. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to get inside your mind here. <laughs> now, she went through and told us, you got to remember, I'm not passionate about movies like you guys are. So yeah. she, I don't really care. Yeah. She's my, like, kill them my, all. I don't care. My first thought, <laughs> my first thought is My Little Pony, the movie. Oh, yeah. You're that welcome. Was you, not me. I gave I gave Luna that a couple years ago, and every once in a while I get a text message from Brandon. It's like so angry. Like they've had to watch it a hundred million times. Man, banished from existence. Katie, don't don't word, don't though. tell him with your eyes. I know how married couples can talk like that. So. <laughs> I'm not, not even looking, I'm not looking in her eyes. <laughs> I've never been able to figure that out. <laughs> Can't tell you the last time I looked in her eyes. You saw the last round. That doesn't work. <laughs> uh, hmm. Man, I am getting nothing here. Um, <laughs> that was my answer too, right? <laughs> neither was she. <laughs> yeah, but, so. yeah. <laughs> Took her a while. Can I pass for like? Yep, you just gotta guess one. <laughs> well, you can't you probe let, for answers, Brandon. I don't. Right? I'm not remember probing, I'm what she thinking. said. This was I, three I, minutes I, ago. I, don't I really remember. don't yeah. even remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, telekinesis. You just hear a busy signal. <laughs> um. Hmm? I'd be surprised if, if Brandon got the next one right, too. Yeah. Hmm. We believe in you, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm really blocking a lot of this out. I don't even remember what the next question is. That's how much they hmm. listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm gonna the anxiety. Say, I, don't, I don't think this is it, but I'm going to say Uncut Gems. That is incorrect. It is The Shining. <laughs> yeah, the we can get that screen oh, cap of right, her no, face, too, right? <laughs> All right. I feel like I like that. You said it was. You I, said it's it exhausting. Like you hated the like pace. I guess it was just like not a happy wore you down. I don't know. Which, by the way, I watched Shakes the Clown last night, and there's a very young Adam Sandler in that movie, which is a it's a Bobcat Goldthwait writer director movie. It's very strange. It's a town of clowns. Anyway, um, it's creepy. Ryan, I have to check that out. I don't think you will. Um, if you could banish one movie from exist, oh, if, I'm sorry. If Katie could banish one movie from existence, which would it be? So there's only one movie that she's ever expressed any kind of. She looks like, like she's blowing up balloons right now. <laughs> like, she's, she's, she's I'm like, trying not to. What, what does this <laughs> mean? Am I going down the wrong track flat. here? <laughs> trying to keep my face flat. I have no idea what you're going to say. Um, there's only one movie that she's ever like shown any kind of like real disdain for. Everything else is kind of like, yeah, okay, didn't like it, and it's probably because of me, I would imagine. Okay, just because I talk about it too much, but um, I have to go with Justice League, the first, the original Justice League. That is correct. Nice. That is correct. That's so, what I'm talking about. I told you that's why we're married. Get some. <laughs> the last question. Is for that is the correct answer. <laughs> the last question is for the whole jar of mayonnaise here. Okay, uh, right. if Katie and Ryan get this question, they get 
eight, which would be above the seven and a half that Brandon and Melissa currently have. If, no pressure. Yeah. Come back trail, baby. <laughs> so get it wrong, Brandon. If Brandon and Melissa get it. They will have nine and a half and it will be a landslide victory. So um, there's no tie. So you're welcome. <laughs> so, I think so, we've all won. So we all guys. win. <laughs> No oh, man, you just wait till you hear those movies that were on that list. So, <laughs> one day, Al, one day, maybe. maybe not. Oh, we will watch one. We will. Um, you will be. You all right. Will so, be. Ryan, what actor I'm nervous. would Katie like to hang out with the most? Actor, actress, doesn't matter. Of all time, dead or alive. An actor or hang actress. out with. Yeah. <laughs> you can think out loud. I'd rather not. <laughs> <laughs> it tells a little too much. She doesn't really, I don't know. You don't really talk about it. Well, I'll say this. She was a little more emphatic than Melissa was. So kind of goes back to the same thing. Melissa was like, I don't really care. It's like, really like it's like, like, <laughs> I just want to hang out by myself. Yeah, I don't care about these. Give me people. an hour by myself. Yeah, just. I would like the only thing I have to go off of is like people like I couldn't go off of something like from a movie. Like I feel like it would just be something you talked about, like tabloids or something. I don't know about tabloids. Like we've talked about it. This this is but a it is an actor, not in, a character. Well, it, Actor, is actors, act, like actor, okay. act, actor, 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 not a actor is all encompassing, all, all sexes, all right. everything. Um, still, like, I can't base it off a movie. Like, I've never, never watched a movie with you, and you've been like, <laughs> you know, I'd like to hang out with that person. <laughs> that person looks like they could do some shopping. Let's go. Um, Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go have a beer with that person. More, more likely. Let's eat the some tacos. Two, Let's the do that. The only two I've ever like heard you like really talk about would be Margot Robbie and J Lo. Which apparently, sometimes you tell her you think she's like Margot Robbie. Yes. <laughs> 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 I think I've done that with both of them. <laughs> you may. You might have. I should have said Katniss the first time. That's who I should have said. I don't want to be like Katniss. Still would have been wrong. Still would have been wrong. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. I wouldn't have gotten that. I wouldn't have gotten that. No pressure. You are correct. So right now. Although the two that I said were Emma Stone and Jennifer Lawrence. But. Like I, so... it was between the two of them. We have this conversation every time, and it's when I watch Easy A, and she sings the song, the pocket full of sunshine song, in the card, Kate, and it just makes I've me seen think that, movie that she... once with you. <laughs> you know, yeah. like every time we watch Easy A. <laughs> you got it right. That's what counts. Good job. Yeah. So you are in the lead no by pressure. half. Good job. By half a point right now, point. you are winning. And remind everybody, what was your movie choice? Knives Out, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so as of right now, we are going to be reviewing Knives Out. So, <laughs> Brandon. I don't remember what Melissa said. I kind of want to change my answer. Can't. It's locked <laughs> Those in. Are locked in. I'm sorry about that. What actor, all encompassing, would Melissa like to hang out with most? I'm just going to go with my gut and say Jennifer Aniston. Aww. That's what she... <laughs> see? You know what that is? You know what that is? That's her. That. That's who I wanted to hang out with. I couldn't I'm sorry, think that of doesn't it. count. That does not count. Al, what's the final tally? So, <laughs> um, that is a no. Um, that is incorrect. And who is the it? answer is Aubrey Plaza. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I can see that. I mean, yeah, I can see that. So but that's not right. So that's that's right. Not correct. Ryan and Katie are our winners. 
So it looks like we'll be okay. reviewing Congratulations. Knives Yay for Knives Out. out. That's right. Uh, I <clears throat> knives Chow. I want to say thank you to both She's Katie, <laughs> Jimmy Chan. Uh, I want to say thank you to uh, Katie and Melissa for joining us uh, on Cinema Machine. Uh, please give your big thanks. Give them some big ups in the comments. Go ahead. How Ryan. many How many people you think are going to bail out after the first round? If you uh, want us to come <laughs> back and do a rom com for once. Yeah, so Ugh. tell us if you uh, want the ladies <laughs> to come on in the future and tell us what we have to watch and then review review that movie with us. So, um, but I want to thank everybody for coming on Cinema Machine. I want to thank I want to thank everybody for staying up late to play this game, and <laughs> I know I had a good time. Uh, and both sets of you have to watch this because you don't know what the other one was saying while you were out of the room. <laughs> so oh, that's true. So. Well, thank you, Al, for hosting. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Hey, you get to host when this you don't fine. have a wife. So. It's <laughs> <laughs> all right. Things going to be fine. Anyway, thank you, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe to Cinemachine. Uh, it's uh, Ryan, you want to tell them where they can do that? At Cinemachine Pod, um, Instagram and Twitter. And then, obviously, like he was telling you, the um, comments here on YouTube. We love chatting with you. So, yeah. So tell us how we did. Tell us if you'd like another episode like this. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you on the next Cinema oh, Machine. Do we oh. get a championship belt, by the way? If you Just make curious. it. Okay. I'm sure you have one around the house somewhere you can call a championship <laughs> belt. So it's got. We'll find one. It's got utilities in it. But other than that, we're fine. Great. So. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us on Ten uh, Cinema Machine. And we'll see you all next time. Bye. 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 Bye.